I challenge everybody to go, as we've been saying, go to the site, register, look at all the salary that you've made from, from year one to present day, add it all up, see how much you've made, divide that by the amount of years that you've worked, and just it's just for shits and giggles, but at the same time, are you considered upper class? Are you considered middle class or lower class with the amount that you've uh, the amount of money averaged out over the years that you've worked? Like when I did it, when I looked and averaged everything out, I still was technically lower class financially. But when I look at it from the past several years that I've been working, I'm listed technically as middle class. But it's just most, really weird. It's really weird when you look at it. It makes you really think. Like all these years, I mean, you think you've developed a whole bunch of money, but you're still a lower class uh, in a financial bracket. But yet, these past few years, you could be like, oh, yeah, I've been doing middle class, but you're still lower in, in the whole scheme of things. It's just really, really crazy. And for lower class, it's anything that is, if I'm correct, uh, less than 50000 is lower class. I think so. I believe so. I'll look it up as we speak. Go ahead, Cortez. I'm sorry. But that, that's the thing. We we get so hung up on on class structures. I'll be honest with you. The way this system is set up, man, it's like you could be upper class and you can and the next day you could be flat broke. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's weird is where how this thing works. Yeah. I just I, I you know not to me as Marcia said it I just want enough money to live comfortably. I'm not trying to live like a billionaire. I'm just trying to live from day to day off of what I have. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not taking fancy trips mm-hmm. <laughs> traveling around the world. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're not we're not traveling jet setting like Marsha. Like right now, she's in San Francisco earlier. She was in Virginia Beach. So, you know, I mean it's like she jet sets. But anyway, here here's the deal. <laughs> There's five income classes. You got poor, lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, and wealthy. Now, based on Pew's analysis, a three-person household would be considered low income if they're bringing in less than $52,000 a year. And this group makes up about a a significant chunk of the U.S. population, about 38% as of 2021. So think about it. Think about it when you average everything out. You know, sometimes you just have to kind of, you have to be grateful for the struggle, but at the same time, struggle's not over. We still have to make our piece of the pie. We have to make our ends, and we can't stop. And that's why I don't rely on Social Security. I have to rely on me. I'm my only Social Security. I'm the only one that's going out there doing nine to fives or doing hustles. Like, actually, I'm going to be doing right after this show, heading to the Illadelf, doing my hustle. That's who's going to be providing for me. I can't depend on Mr. Government here, except for a government job full time, Marsha. Thank you. I can't depend on SSA to give me something that I have to really earn myself and maintain myself. Don't be dependent. Be independent. Saying, I'm going to start drawing my retirement because y'all don't give me my money. I didn't work all these years for nothing. So give me, pay me. Pay me what's owed to me. There you go. That's right. That's Talk right. This. Give me my, how many, whatever. <laughs> these young folk, it's just these young folk are not, they're not working. Therefore, the Social Security is not really expanding like it used to. Mm-hmm. Young folk don't work. They they pocketed money. You know, they try they try to pay taxes. 